get it immediately. In this video series, we're looking at the basics of movie making. In this particular episode, we're looking at shot reverse shot, eyeline match, and parallel editing. So first, let's look at shot reverse shot, which is used in interviews or in movies when two people are having a conversation. Can you explain the idea behind shot reverse shot? Shot reverse shot is used in interviews or conversations where you want to see the reactions of the interviewer and the responses of the interviewee. So here we can see the basics. In this case we have two people and we keep on one side so we're keeping to the 180 degree rule and we look over the shoulder of one person to a medium close up of the other and switch between the two. Noddies can be used, so what are noddies? Uh, noddies are used if maybe I make a mistake, uh, then we can cut to your head nodding uh, like this and then back to me, uh, then I, we can either cut out something that I've said which is useless or I've gone on for too long or um, if I make a mistake we can put the noddies in. What about cutaways? How are they used? Cutaways are really similar to noddies but instead of cutting to you nodding, we'd cut away to some sort of relatable content. So if I were to say something like uh, we're talking about cats and I mention cats and how I love cats and their lovely long hair, we could cut away to a cat at that point and cut some of what I was saying out because it was all boring. Can you do shot reverse shot with one camera? Yes you can do shot reverse shot with one camera because you film all the responses from one side like we are now and we film all your questions and your noddies from the other side at a different time. Then there's the eyeline match, which is a very common tool, very useful and very effective for the invisible cut. An eyeline match is where you... So it's where we cut to the point of view of what the subject's looking at. Another really useful tool is the parallel edit, which we've tried to explain in this really appallingly bad scene. So we start our scene with Darren sitting on a bench, phoning someone up. Notice how we've ordered the shots. We've gone from a long shot to a medium shot. And the cut is an invisible cut where the action matches. We then cut to the person who answers the phone. Hello? Dude, where the hell are you? I'm on the other side of the college, two minutes away. Oh, I think she's seen me. OK. So our two scenes have emerged. One with Darren in grave danger, the other with myself on my way to try and help. Cutting between the two scenes like this is known as parallel editing. Oh, okay. Notice the eye line match here when he realises Sophie's been watching him all the time. Oh man, are you right? Now in our parallel edit, the two scenes merge together, but they don't always have to. In this scene from the film Snatch, we see quite a creative use of the parallel edit. In this particular scene, we can see an old style of parallel editing created with a split screen. This used to be a common way of showing a telephone conversation. It's edited in quite a fun way here, with the split screen moving depending on the action or who's talking. Now later we see another type of parallel edit. In one scene, our main protagonist, Turkish, is about to bet on whether a pair of lurcher dogs will catch a hare. In our parallel scene, which is happening at the same time, Tyrone is being chased by two nasty gangsters. And if captured, he's gonna be in big trouble. What's really clever about this is that the action from both scenes have been matched. So the chase scenes work together. This is a more complex type of match on action, where the movement from one scene coincides with another, or an action is carried through in a cut. So it's a good example of someone working with the rules, but doing it creatively. So that's the basics of movie making for editing and shooting. In other episodes we'll be looking at sound and lighting. Hope this helped.